I struggled with a big pain in my life, in my heart. Jamal was hope. He was a part of my life, my identity. When I lost him in this way, it changed my life completely. Her teacher Cengiz doesn't come often to the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. The place has haunted her since that day in October 2018, when Jamal Khashoggi was murdered here. The famous Saudi dissident, her teacher's husband-to-be. We came here because we uh, need to take uh, some documents to complete our marriage officially. He went in and I, I started waiting outside. I waited and waited and uh, he did not come back. I knocked on the door and some man said there is no one inside. While her teacher was waiting outside, Jamal Khashoggi was brutally murdered and dismembered by a team of Saudi agents, silenced for being a critical journalist. A monument of white stone now stands near the consulate. It has Jamal's name on it, but it's not a gravestone, because to this day, his remains have not been found. They vanished him. Still, I am asking this question, where is his body? What happened to his body? From that day until now, I'm fighting. I'm fighting for justice for Jamal. I've been living in Istanbul 15 years. It's such a lovely and warm and historical city for me. It's full of life, full of love, and full of surprise. Her teacher was always interested in the history and politics of the Middle East. She studied in Egypt, in Oman, and came back to Istanbul for her PhD. At a politics conference, she met Jamal, and soon they became closer. These moments in my life, I will never forget. I said, okay, this is my new life with this guy, with this man, full of love with Jamal. The plan was starting life together here in Istanbul, then sometimes in Washington and sometimes in Istanbul. It never came to that. A few months later, Jamal was dead, and her teacher, devastated by the loss, made a decision that would give her life a new direction. Then I told, I can't stay silent. It is time to act and fight for justice. Fight for justice for Jamal. And from that day, I think my life changed. And I put myself on the, this stage, speaking up and saying the truth. My power is my words. Her teacher started to travel the world. She testified in front of the US Congress, the European Parliament, the United Nations Human Rights Council. A UN investigation found evidence that the Saudi leadership was responsible for the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. US intelligence agencies concluded that Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman had approved the assassination, an accusation he denies. For some time, her teacher was certain that justice would prevail. until she learned the meaning of realpolitik. In a world in turmoil and hungry for energy resources, pariahs can become partners again. Court cases can be closed. And justice for Jamal Khashoggi may never be achieved. 
It wasn't easy to understand. Is it real politic? It was a huge disappointing for me. Everyone knows it's a politic decision. The couples on the banks of the Bosphorus remind her teacher of her loss, but also of the fact that life is worth living and justice worth fighting for. I have a duty, I have a big responsibility, I have to remind people what happened to Jamal. A researcher turned human rights defender, her teacher Genghis has found new purpose in her life. Speaking for those who are silenced, listening to those who are not heard. Please speak up. It is very important. What we need for our future is more humanity, more democracy, more human rights. Do not give up. That's my message.